So the plan today is we're going to go to the Appian Way and uh, we're going to check it out. It's about a 27 minute drive from where we're at, which is right next to Campo de Fiori. We're also going to check out this cool restaurant that does their cooking basically exactly as they used to do it, uh, I think 2,000 years ago. Okay, so we're here. We're right next to the tomb of Santa Cecilia or Saint Cecilia, uh, which I believe is right over there. Let's go check it out. I feel relaxed just being here compared to Trevi Fountain and some of the other stuff, the Colosseum. This is nice. The tomb of Santa Cecilia. Ah, just beautiful. Okay, that's what an old road looks like. Bum, 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 bum. These old roads will test your stroller to the max. Okay, so we're just taking a look here. And there isn't that much inside, basically just the walls yeah, and the outside facade. Just walls, it's all walls. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Uh, that's here. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> oh, that is so nice. Oh yeah, you got that apart of Lucci. All right, let's go check it out. I can't wait to try a dish that was actually made in the first century. That's insane. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful over here. See, see. Bonjour now. We're actually right behind the, the, the ruins of the St. Nicholas's Church. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, we got an extra table. Daniele. Okay, so just trying to figure out which are the really old dishes here on the menu. Because as you see this one, the patina quotidiana is ancient, first century. Then we have this one, chicken prepared with leeks, olive oil, vinegar, and garum. Garum! It's supposed to be super stinky. We got a plate where you're supposed to be sucking pig. So let's... Uh, Let's see if this is it. It just looks like prosciutto to me. Maybe it's prosciutto from suckling pig. Oh, and looking at those bruschettas, I think we should have got some too. Oh, oh, it's, it's for us. Let's take a bite. I don't want it to fall now. Mmm. So it's basically perfect. Bread is... It's not too soft, but it's not too hard. It's just kind of perfect bruschetta bread. It's a lot of flavoring on the tomatoes and uh, a decent amount of olive oil. <laughs> if I remember correctly, garum is like a fermented fish kind of thing that they make in uh, Cadiz in Spain. I think they still make it there. Obviously, this is not just a, just a garum dish. I think it has some kind of garum in the sauce. Let's get this chicken here. Mm. It's very, the rosemary is very strong there. Now, I don't know what garam is supposed to taste like, so I can't say that I taste it, but it's uh, it's a little oily. Are you serious? No, I'm not joking. You think it's the best chicken you've ever had? Yeah, because I don't like really roast chicken kind of at all and stuff. I know. It's not roast, but it's kind of like chicken like this. It's like stew really chicken. good. It's stew chicken. It's really good. Uh, now maybe you should just watch her with the fork. Watch her with the fork. Hey, look at this. 
<laughs> it's definitely like country cooking. It's be it's basically like yeah. the non-red version of a chicken cacciatore. So you got your green herbs and you got your oil, and you don't have any red elements like tomatoes or peppers or anything like that. Si va bene, grazie. We have what looks to be like a lasagna. I got this for the kids. I love it. But it's basically it's, okay, what did you it's another say? dish from the first century. Oops. And it comes with beef, cheese. It's basically a lasagna, really. Let's try this um, this lasagna, this first century lasagna. Mm. It has some fennel in there. That is that is actually amazing. That's really good. It's just so creamy, but it has such a different taste than what you expect the lasagna to have. Obviously no tomato here. I think the fennel gives it its its character really. Wow. The cheese kind of makes it taste a bit like you're eating a pastry so it's like in between lasagna and a pastry and a pretty good pastry so. Hey no 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 no. Hey, look at that smile. Where are you going? 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 Yeah, see, see, see. Grazie. Even if you're in the city for a couple of days, uh, I would honestly recommend you get away from the chaos of the Colosseum, Trevi Fountain, and all that, and just come here. There's a lot of stuff to see. Here on the app, on the old Appian Way, we're not gonna see all of it, but it's filled with ruins. It's insane, and you can just eat here and chill here. Now we see a lot of people basically coming up the road. We actually took a cab that left us right at Santa Cecilia up there, and now we're doing the Appian Way going down. <laughs> <laughs> we're here at the San Sebastian catacombs and uh, I think we're about to go in. So you see the arrows, but you see the gracefulness of his hand, his right hand on his chest and you feel the anguish that he's feeling. Alright, so we're about to go in the catacombs. There is no video. No photo and no dogs. No problem with the dogs, but we'll have to leave the camera on the side and not use any pictures or video. Okay, so we're back in Campo de Fury. We left the catacombs. It, well, what a nice experience. You pay 16 euros to get inside. And you actually get a guided tour. You get to really go down in there and really see where the uh, the Christians used to bury uh, used to bury people. It, it was it was really cool actually. No cameras, no no photo, no video. So that kind of sucks. But hey, uh, honestly, it's kind of dark in there, so you can't really do much with that anyways. Yeah. 